Ten seconds remaining. I now select your heroes. Who's actually already rotating top, so... This is one of the big advantages that the Primal Beast is, is able to provide you. If you've got that rough lean potentially that you want to avoid, you can just look to try and you know, make your own plays and assist the side lanes and... Oh, Noob does just that. Oh, look at this lane. Yeah, it, it's tough. Like, when he gets to this point, you, you, you need to kill the Husker earlier on. Now, I mean, as you said, oh, Ducalis should go down here. You can rotate with the primal, but uh, it, it does feel a bit bad. Like, let's look like Liquid is starting to converge on this T1 tower mid lane, though. I mean, you do have the power runes ready to go. Nisha, leap oh. over onto Omar just to close the distance a little bit on the primal beast. Nisha might be in some danger. Boxy, really, guys? Avalanche is going to disrupt the combo, and now it's messy under the tower. Insane cleans up the kill onto Omar. And now Noob as well is getting chased down from Boxy. There's a threat of 33 even wrapping over. Yet to have the ultimate for this Brewmaster, so it might be lacking some of the damage output required to get the kill onto the Dino. They still feel like they've got it though, especially with Insania nearby. Two points up for the Purifying Flames. And they'll be rewarded. Some big experience going to go the way of both Boxy and Insania. An amplified damage. Oh, he's even TPing. Looking for the bat. Do they have the damage? He might be able to TP out. Oh, they're actually going to stampede. Is there a kill down bottom? Yes, there is. Malik and TA2000 sense a bit of a weakness with Mickey being left alone. Omar is still getting chased down. Life break up in a couple of seconds, but is Nisha going to be able to catch up to him? Doesn't look like it, so... Oh, does Omar just want oh, to die? So I think he just wants to, I think he Omar. wants to die. I, I don't know. Okay, I think okay. he's, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> that seemed like a, you know, let me just get the full crew weapon died. Dude, bottom tower goes down though, so. I'm not really sure what he's doing besides counting. They, he... they saw Malik uh, as soon as he smoked under the ward. That's going to actually enable Nisha to TP out. And looks like Insania's, pff, let's see, he was starting to move right to pop the smoke. Aww. Very close to the T1 town. Liquid are going to be able to react. It's a great placement of the flame break. But still, Noob commits in and Insania's not even dead just yet. And now 33 is ready to go with the primal split. Is he going to be able to stop the TP fast enough? He will. Nicely done. And this is all set up thanks to the vision from Liquid. And 33 still hunting Omar as well. He's got a clip on the outskirts of this tower, so this will be a third kill that goes the way of Liquid. And again, this is all set up thanks to the Observe Ward that scouted out the smoke down bottom from PSG Quest. And that was your blink timing, and it goes poorly. And fast on the center here, Malik, trying to utilize that blink dagger. Not sure if they're gonna find anyone. Well, they do TP top. I was setting up for the defense. It's Nisha showing the moment, but insane. He's got great positioning. Gonna be oh, he find a... potentially protect him, but he doesn't get the ultimate up before the burst catches the Oracle off guard. And now gonna gonna be rewarded with a secondary kill as well. Alright, really Farm gonna come from for Boxy. I mean he's been down bottom for quite some time, but still only 18 last hits, and if you compare that to the bat rider, it has 59. So a big reason why there's a blink already for the bat. But you do have Aegis getting claimed at least, so you've you got that going for you. You're probably going to lose your tiny down bottom, though. Last up with the Polarize, they've been stampede as well for good measure, so this should guarantee Roshan. And I have to imagine PG's quests have a good idea that... It, I think it was Nisha, actually, who drew that circle perfectly around their own triangle. I mean, exactly where quests were currently positioned. Uh -huh. I just noticed as well, how's the Carlos only level 6? <laughs> yeah, he... <laughs> He he got like he totally left the lane to to try and assist the side lanes. He he was really starved out of experience. They, I don't think they got the wisdom rune too, right? Oh, hello, Omar. Mm. Let me see where they went. Thirty three got one. I think dies is still up. Oh, are they gonna split for it? Okay. Uh, it's it's <laughs> level six elder titan, and thirty three <laughs> is hoping for more. Which no one else is playing behind. Yeah, it's, you know. Round, as you said, the Blink Dagger lacking on Boxy makes, even though Liquid kind of wants to pressure, they just don't have the heroes for it. Oh, they um, find Boxy. He did get the Blink Dagger though. Okay, I was, he got the creep wave with the combo at least before he died, but again, I mean this is, and they might even get baited here. If you take a long sure. fight with these ages expiring, it could be problematic. I still a slaps. 
He'll be able to deal with the disarm. Stampede used to reset. That's to reveal the blink as well. And they're not going to get any what? value out of it. Toss under the tower. Mickey is he in any trouble? It doesn't look like it. Finally, Liquid able to somehow find a crafty fight where they just go all in under a T2 tower. But a T3 instead, this high ground, a little bit more of a, of a threat for them to, to try and puncture up. But they do get a kill into Malik. They're going to get a T2 tower. And by the looks of it, potentially more because Boxy... Finds an angle for the toss back. Noob's going to be able to play around with the BKB. They blow up the tiny. Now Insania caught out of position as well. With the ages just expiring, so Nisha's in some danger. They're going to try and jump in with the lasso, but Nisha held down, slammed away the life. Mickey still goes uncontested, though. You dealt with everyone else, but the Luna stands strong in adversity and liquid. Smoke on smoke. They should see the Radiance burn. Yeah, they're they have... to ping it up. They have high ground vision here. The quest is definitely in a better spot unless Liquid drags them towards that other cliff ward. And so unfortunate, Noob's about 400 gold away from the Scepter, which could be huge. Toss but he's not going to have it for the team fight in Liquid. They want to start it beforehand. Jump in the back line. That's an ideal target. They'll get rid of Insania with a defensive support. Not there oh. to protect him. They're going to crumble. What an earth split up. 33 gets the ultimate off, but it will not matter in the end. Boxy, though, still hunting what? for the combo. How does Boxy make it somewhat of a decent fight? They'll land the hoof stomp at the buzzer. So it's a four for two, but that felt like that should have been so much worse without the tiny jumping in. Oracle already has a Nader Lens going for a blink. This, uh, this might be the answer, but even still, we'll, we'll see if he's going to get the Lincoln Sphere. Okay, no, he, he did commit for the BKB. Nice use of the light collector to cut some trees down and if he didn't he would have got clipped by the charge and now Lick would have been able to react in time. Lasso committed onto the tiny. Primal split still cool down for another 20 seconds though, but the heal from Insane, you will see how different of fights able to look with the Oracle still alive. And now once they can enter inside the river, that was not the team fight that Dyer was hoping for. Noob's going to be able to BKB charge away. Oh, uh, split. This is still an advantageous fight if you have the right initiation. They know though. Oh, Smoke. they have the high ground. This is good. Oh, that's so scary. Mickey, what a timing on the beam. Man, the dark line again. Lasso. They'll find the Oracle. That's the prime target. Get rid of the support. Now look for the cause next. But you're still taking the team fight into Jeez. the ages. And Mickey pops a cheese at the last second. Can he survive through the second round of spells that are about to come up with the infest? He's gone. It's all up to Nisha in the second round of the combos. Out of Boxy. They clumped up again for the combo. Boxy. Lacking the damage. The tree toss is enough to get rid of the centaur. Unfortunately, they can't cancel the TP out, so Life Stealer will escape. I don't think Noob's going to live to see the another oh. day. Toss stops the TP, and the Inner Fire with the perfect timing also cancels the charge away. So Liquid, even without the Primal Split, they have to use the Ages and the Cheese, all components of that second. Roche? Uh, not really. Not really. Uh, at least from what I've seen, I think you usually get the Girlfriends is low more often. Uh, but I mean, this is a game where you have some pretty tanky boys, right? So that percentage definitely is interesting. This what I think got a glimpse of Noob. Oh, they're all clumped up. Boxy, who's he gonna look to jump on? Toss back on the center. Malik turns with the BKB. 33 was at least able to activate the primal they find split. The so he's playing with the ultimate, but again, Oracle dies to start the fight. And Mickey gets blown up as well without the cheese in ages. We see how different of a team fight it can look for Quest. Boxy, a hope and a prayer to take someone to the grave with him, but they will find no one. That's crazy. That's a fight where Liquid starts from the high ground. They... Quick one. Okay. Big advantage for Quest now having the vision set up. We've seen previously, it's been very difficult when Insania has been the first person targeted inside the team fights. Oh, We're going to send the illusions to scout out, though. Boxy on the high ground gives them the vision. They'll get the D ward as well. 33. He ain't going to mess around. Split used early on. Little bit of damage pumped into Noob. Tier 2000 just wants to turn to deal with the Brulings. But can they just kite this big ultimate? They're going to try and duck into the trees. Boxy 
Flames an angle for the Avalanche, but the Stampede, they're hunting for Insaney, but they haven't found the Oracle just yet. Oh, Finally, they got it. get him, but it's not going to matter. Earth Splitter fires out. Nisha just cannot do anything. The Life Stealer is far too ahead at this stage of the game. TA2000 has their number, and so do the rest of the members of Quest as well. 33, who hunt down Noob. Somehow Mickey's actually still alive. He ducked over to the right side. It's got some abilities to look to work with, but he just can't win a man fight. That is where Life Silla always reigns supreme. And we're probably going to see that be the case once again, unless Boxy has something else to say about it. He'll toss away Malik. I mean, you did buy back, so Nish is coming and over. They've stored it out long enough for the Husker to look to reach out. Oh, what is that damage? Down Dude, goes to Carlos. Rages out, surely. Do they want to go back in? Infest again. Does he die in the combo? Looking for the armlet toggle. Off the mark with a stun. Nisha armlets up. He's not down. Toss away. Gets some separation. Somehow still alive, but it's not enough. And now with the lasso back up. TO 2000. The ultimate raid boss will not die. Stays alive. Fuck it. Let's have 10 men buyback. Go back in. Get Roche. Get the lead. What a fight for PSG Quest. Somehow Omar. I mean, he might die to the radiance. We're not done just yet. Mickey snipes the Batrider. I think that's a dieback. What's going on? DeCarlis jumps over to the right side. He's going to die as well. I think that's a dieback too. Yeah, that's a dieback on a Batrider as well. Damn. Zagis, you're going to be in a pretty precarious position after uh, it's over. Yeah, th there's going to be a big window where these buybacks are still going to be on cooldown. The fight will be attempted nonetheless. Oh, he's gonna bite the Rapier. He's gonna bite the Rapier. He's gonna fight the sensor at the same time. Oh, no, look, let's see how much damage his beam's gonna oh. do. Malik, where'd his health go? He doesn't have a buyback, but tier 2000's gonna look to enter once again. But there's the false promise. Nisha this time will be okay. Do they want to continue the chases? 33's already set up for the primal split. They're gonna be able to taunt up the life still, but Omar gets a jump and it's not gonna matter. The Nisha Rapier. healed back up. And once he pops up with the infest, Mickey, he can turn to start to beat onto the members of Quest. It's not enough for the moment. They'll deal with the first life, but the look just gets set up for the second round with the rage. Oh, oh. Moquid got this, right? The Lifestyle is out of rage. He actually has his radius killed off for some reason. Ah, uh, yeah, I think he's dead. Stunned up. To oh, that's a big beam. They got no buybacks, dude. No way. way, ultra kill for Mickey. Are you serious? A rapier fight with ages. A messy pause, it doesn't matter. They can walk it down and they might say. All right, there's a dune importantly with a lasso. They can potentially reinforce one back inside the base. Noob's already angling around to find the supports. There's cheese and false promise on Mickey. There's no way he First dies. It's way too yeah. much. And they're going to use the false promise early on just to cover him in case. In case they have to damage to blow him up, oh. but it's not to be. Liquid, they only need a couple fights. Percent quest down to the losers series. What a matchup between these two. The 